Hey everybody, I'm Miss Aileen. Thanks for joining us again for Kids Corner on Armstrong Cable Channels 20 and 100. Today we're at Poland Union Elementary School again with the first grade class and it's all about those snowy days. We've got sparkly snowy fun ahead with our story and very cool personal snowflake sparkly ornament project. So stay tuned for that and more. Hey everybody. Hi. How is everybody today? You guys look like you're doing pretty good. It is wintry outside, isn't it? Yes. It's been kind of cold the past few days and it's been kind of, um, what's that word? Snowy. Snowy. And today, it is all about the snow. You know? Hey, that rhymed, right? Okay, so, hey, another rhyme. Snow, you know, snow, so, all that stuff. So, we are gonna have some fun today. Can somebody tell me something that you do in the winter when it's snowy outside? Go sled riding. Go sled riding, you in the back. Yep, you with the kitty cat on your shirt. Um, we um, have snowball fight outside. Snowball fight. How about you? Oh, I slip on my face. You, you what? You slip on your face. Yeah, we try to be careful so we don't do that part because that part is not very fun. You can actually get hurt. Anybody ever slid and fallen on their or their face, bottom or their top, yeah, not fun. How about you over there with the Christmas sweater? I go You make snowmans, that's fun. How about you? Um, we, we go sledding. You go sledding, snowmen, sledding, slipping, sliding. How about you? Um, go skating. Go ice skating, that's another fun one. How about you right there with the purple shirt? Snow angels. Snow angels are fun, aren't they? Anybody ever lay down in the snow and just like flap and flap and flap yeah. until you can't flap anymore? Have you ever flapped so long that you're like, you know what, I have to get up now, it's too cold? Yeah. 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 Um, you right there with the CSU shirt. Wrestle. Wrestle in the snow? Hey, I guess that would work because if you like fall down, you don't get hurt as bad, right? I can see how that works. You right there with the blue striped shirt. Bobby, um, I stay inside and watch TV. That's a nice one. Who gets cozy during the winter and gets all nice and snuggly in their jammies and their slippers and their hot cocoa and their blankie and just kind of hangs out in front of the TV with your family and just has a nice inside time. Me too. Okay, guys, so I have another question. What happens with animals during the winter? You with the burgundy shirt right there. They hibernate a lot of times. Some animals don't hibernate though. What do they have to do in the fall if they don't hibernate? They have to get ready for winter by? Go fly south. Some of them do. Some of them fly south. That's very, very true. Excellent answer. How about you? What about like squirrels and chipmunks? What do they have to do to get ready for winter? Eat a lot. They have to eat a lot sometimes. Like who eats a lot and then goes to sleep for winter? Which animal? Everybody just tell me. Bears. They eat a lot. But the chipmunks and the squirrels, they might eat some to get a little fluffier, but they also do something else. Do you know what they do in the back? Um, they dig a hole and they go inside. They might dig a hole and go inside. Some animals do burrow into the ground and go inside and get all snuggly where it's nice and warm. How about, if I've called on you already, put your hand down so I can call on one of our friends. I have it. You in the back with the move to your own beat in the snow shirt. Go ahead. Um, they, they do go and get some, they get some food and then they go into their house and 
that's the one. They go and they find food all autumn and fall long. And then they go ahead and they put it all and store it for the winter. So that, that's like their little grocery store and their little refrigerator. And they go to their little refrigerator and grocery store when they get hungry inside their little hole where they've stored up lots of nuts and seeds and goodies for them to get them through the winter. So they don't have to go out in the cold because they don't have coats, right? No, well, I mean, they have a permanent coat that they wear all the time, but other than that, they can't, like, go to, you know, a store and go buy an extra coat if it's extra cold out there to bundle up. They don't have little mittens and gloves and extra thick socks and boots, right? So to keep themselves warm and to go ahead and keep themselves nice and cozy for the winter but fed, they make sure that they have what they need to get themselves through the winter. So... We've got a story here, and it talks about lots of animals, and who do we see on the cover of our story? Bunnies. And this story, with our bunnies on the cover, is called Snow, and it is by Manya Stojic. Owl ruffled her feathers. The snow is coming, she said wisely. I know snow. Hey, that rhymes. Another rhyming word. The geese were gathering. S -s 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 Snow. Snow. They said with a sh -sh shiver. Our lake will freeze. Yes. The snow is coming, said Moose. I can smell it on the breeze. Did you guys know that animals can smell snow and rain and stuff coming sometimes? Did you guys know that animals could smell lots of things in the weather like snow and rain and all of that kind of stuff sometimes? And they can tell when it's gonna snow before we can sometimes? Has anybody ever smelled when it's about to rain and it smells a little different in the air and it smells kind of like water in the air. I've smelled that too. So the same way we can smell stuff, so can the animals and they probably can smell even better. So Mr. Moose says he can smell it on the breeze. Ah, snow, Bear yawned. Time for me to be sleeping. Hare snuggled her bunnies. Winter brings snow, my honeys. Another rhyme. And our white coats. Oh, wait. What color are these bunnies now, everybody? But she just said that winter brings snow and their white coats. Did you know that some bunnies turn white during the winter? Yes. Well, now we do. Very cool, right? Interesting. And do you all know, do you all know that hair is another word for bunny? Yeah. Very cool. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Yeah. What'd you say before that? It's, it probably is because of snow. Okay, so because it's snow, these bunnies were created to do something really cool. And why do you think their coats might turn white? Has anybody... Anybody here, just raise your hand if you know why a chameleon turns colors. Why do you think they, because they, they can camouflage better, can't they? Very cool. Oh, snow, said Fox. Those clouds are full of snow. And then, it snowed. White snowflakes swirled in the sky. Some very big, some very small, and very gentle. All very gentle. Anybody ever felt snow fall when it's falling from the sky? Yes. Does it hit you like a rock? No. No. It's very soft, isn't it? And when it falls on your hand, it's very, very soft and you can almost not even feel it. And then it melts. Very cool, right? 
Would it be very fun to go out in the snow if the snow was like rocks? Not at all. But it is very fun to go out and play in the snow when you're all bundled up because it's very soft and fluffy. Anybody love jumping into a pile of soft, soft, fluffy snow? Me too. Sometimes I'm, I'm walking around and I'll see a big, big, big pile of snow and I just want to jump in it and go Anybody ever do that? Yeah. Super fun, right? The forest was still. Everybody knows that that means the forest was silent and very still, right? It was covered with a sparkling blanket. Does the snow sometimes look like it's sparkling, like glitter? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Is it glitter? No. no. It's the water reflecting the light though. Pretty cool. My fur looks like fire, bristled fox against the white snow. Sounds like he kind of likes that. And look, our little bunny friends are looking at him. We are as white as we can be, giggled the bunnies. <laughs> white snow. They look pretty happy. What do you think? Snow, snow, so sleepy, mumbled Bear, as he drifted into dreams. I love the crisp air, sniffed Moose, just after it snows. South, we fly south, honked the geese. So long, Snow. Somebody talked about that here and said that somebody, some of these animals fly south, right? And somebody else mentioned that some of them hibernate and a um, few other things we've talked about in here. The snow will stay, said Owl, but one spring day, another rhyme, it will drip, drop, and melt away. I know snow, she said wisely, but I sing spring. And this book also talks about how water changes. So is snow water? Yes. What happens to the water that it becomes snow? Ice. Ice. You right there with the blue shirt. Yep. It, it's like frozen and it falls down. It freezes and it turns into ice up in the sky and it falls down. Just like rain, but frozen rain, right? And it's soft frozen rain, so it freezes differently than when it's just barely frozen because then it's like hail and that is hard. And sometimes it's like hard little rain pellets. Anybody ever felt that before? That's not fun, is it? Anybody ever got hit in the face with hail? Oh, so not fun, but snow. Oh, snow. Snow is so gentle and so soft and fluffy. It is our friend. So this talks about how water can be a liquid, a gas, or a solid. When it's water, like water, water is a liquid. And when it is evaporated, it goes up into the air because it turns into a gas. And then when it freezes, it becomes solid like ice. Pretty cool, right? Water changes three different ways. The water in this lake is frozen. Water turns into ice when it gets very cold. Ice is a solid. I just said that, didn't I? It turns into water when it gets warm. The ice cube is melting and it's turning back into water, isn't it? And water is also a liquid when it's all melted and it's just kind of fluidy and moving around like in a pool or an ocean or a lake. The water boiling makes steam. Anybody ever seen steamy water? The water turns into gas when it gets very hot 
and the hot sun will turn the water in this puddle into a gas. So has anybody ever gone outside right after it rains and there's a big puddle outside? But have you ever noticed that once it warms up, that puddle dries up and disappears? But it didn't really disappear. It turned into gas and it rose in the air and it went up, 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 up. And one day it will turn into a cloud and then rain back down and start all over again. Very cool, right? And this young lady says, I am with my snowman. What will make my snowman melt? What will turn it into gas? Can anybody tell me what will make my snowman melt and turn it into gas? Somebody I haven't called on, you with the unicorn sweater in the back. What makes the snowman melt? The sun. The sun, good job. Everybody give her a thumbs up if you agree. I agree too. All right, you guys did a super job. Give yourselves a tiny hand, tiny hand. All right. So now we are about to have our very, very own, very, very fun, glittery, sparkly, snowflake ornament art project. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you really, really ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? Don't tell me you're ready if you're not ready. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, guys, let's go. We are going to make our very own snowflakey, glittery, sparkly ornament art projects. So in front of you, you all have one of these guys. And it is, for all of you at home, a foam cutout of an ornament. And I just took a hole puncher and I punched a hole in the top of it. It is glittery. Gotta have the glitter. Everybody loves glitter. So. Everyone take your glittery ornament and take your sparkly green fuzzy stick. And stick your sparkly green fuzzy stick through your hole. And you should have it halfway through. Try and get it a nice even halfway through. And then you will also take your little bell. Everyone should have a little bell. Pick these up at the dollar store, very easy. Grab your little bell, and with the front end of your fuzzy, um, not fuzzy stick, well, yeah, your fuzzy stick that's on your ornament. So the front side of your ornament, where your fuzzy stick's sticking out, run your fuzzy stick through the top part of your little bell. So we are going to learn how to make our little snowflakes here. So you got to be careful and follow directions, all right? Take your paintbrush, dip it into the white paint. You are going to make an X. dip it again after you've made an X and you're going to draw a line in the middle of your X like that.
show you guys how to make a purple border or a blue border or whatever color you picked as your second color. So you take your paintbrush, you dip it in your second color, and then you take your ornament, hold it from the top, put your paintbrush on the side, and then just go like this at the edge of your ornament. And it will make your border that color. everybody. I hope you guys had a lot of snowy fun today on Kids Corner for Armstrong Cable, channels 20 and 100. I'm Miss Aline and today we were at Poland Union Elementary School with the first grade. We've had so much fun. We've talked about snow. We've talked about lots of things to do in the snow. We've talked about snowy days and we've had our very sparkly snowy ornament art project. So, don't forget to tune in next time, and until then, we say goodbye. goodbye.